So we're going from Queens, New York to Manhattan. I've traveled this route probably hundreds of times. So this next intersection is where I would turn to get to work. But today we're moving forward toward the 59th bridge into Manhattan. The cool thing about this is that you don't ever have to get off. If you get to an intersection, you can just rock back and forth while you're waiting. And now we're on the bike lane. It doesn't matter how many times I ride this, it scares me every time. All it takes is for one guy to not pay attention when they're getting out of the car and you can get doored. And it's so dangerous to have the bike lane next to the traffic because once you get doored, you fly into traffic and get run over. That has happened to me before. I ride e-vehicles a lot. When I lived in Harlem, in Manhattan, I used to commute to Jackson Heights on an Evolve Bamboo GTX. After riding the Bamboo GTX for about three months, um, I sold it for a one wheel, and then I sold that and bought an electric unicycle. So when it comes to electric devices, I've pretty much ridden one from, uh, from each category. And so let's talk about the one wheel and the advantages and disadvantages for commuting. You gotta take a break. It's an amazing device, but uh, it's hard to move your feet around. So after a while, your feet get numb, they start to hurt. And if you ride this thing every day, it could get pretty bad. That's a problem, see? So I just fell off my board because of uh, that pothole. A guy riding a boosted board. Chatted with him for a second there while we're stopped at the intersection. Super friendly. That's something I really like about riding one of these. There's a lot of camaraderie. That guy is awesome. Also headed to the city. I can't catch up with him though because uh, the boosted board is so much faster. We're passing the train yard right now. I love riding this area because got this huge lane for bicycles and there's not a lot of traffic. So let's go over the positives. Without a doubt, this is uh, one of the most fun electric vehicles you can buy. People compare it to snowboarding and I think that's actually very accurate. I love not having a controller in your hand all the time that you have to worry about charging. With the one wheel, it's all controlled by how you lean forward or backwards, left or right. It's extremely intuitive and so it feels more like an extension of your body rather than a device. We are now heading toward the 59th Street Bridge. So this area is Long Island City. It changed so quickly. All of these skyscrapers that you see, all of these are new. Crazy expensive over here now. Now we're heading toward the Queensboro Bridge. And here we go. The other thing is durability. Without a doubt, the one wheel is the most overbuilt personal electric vehicle you can get. People say it's bulletproof, it's built like a tank. Exactly right. I've ridden mine through the rain, through puddles that cover half the wheel and it's completely fine. People take them off road, curb drops, and uh, I've done a lot with mine, you know, and I'm not exactly a light guy. 270 pounds and never once felt like I had to worry about the build quality. All right, now we're uh, about to go over the water. So this here is the East River and that over there is Roosevelt Island. A lot of these buildings are quite new because Cornell Tech recently moved to the island. That right there is the Roosevelt Island tram that takes you uh, from Roosevelt to Manhattan. We might see one pass by us in a second here. Surprisingly, it costs just the same as a, a subway ticket. The view is amazing. And we're in Manhattan. Not bad, huh? 
to use a device like this for commuting, you need something that won't give you issues, won't get flat tires, and then you can just pick up, get on it and go, and not have to worry about it giving out on you. And so far, the one wheel has done an amazing job at doing this. Look, this shitty road goes on forever. All right, so where are we going? There's a group called the NYC E-Boarding Collective. It's a group of people with personal electric vehicles that ride around New York City. Their group rides twice every week, and Kung Fu Tea is their headquarters. The people here are really nice, and there are always charge spots available. It doesn't matter if you have a electric skateboard, a one-wheel, electric unicycle, anybody is welcome.